Bobby Award for the Animal Set. Nobody's Patsy, Rin Tin Tin, never managed, did win Best Actor in the first ever Academy Awards vote. The newly minted Academy decided that if they let the dog win, they would never be taken seriously. They did a little sleight of hand and gave the award to another German, Emil Janning. Rinty perhaps had the last laugh, but like most silent stars, all of his films survived. Yawning's Oscar-winning performance in The Way of All Flesh went the way of most nitrate film and did not survive into the modern era. While Lassie and Rin Tin Tin were the best-known Hollywood hoochers, there were other dogs who marked their territory on movie screens. One of the fondly remembered stars of the classic 1939 film The Wizard of Oz was Toto, the canine pet of Judy Garland's character Dorothy. Toto accompanies Dorothy on her trip to the magical world of Oz and even becomes the target of Wicked Witch Margaret Hamilton, who uttered the immortal line, I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. Dogs in the movies. Animal trainer Karen McElhappen recalls the wonderful food. The Wizard of Oz was had the most incredible little dog in it. The dog had, um, I guess, a very famous, what we call go with. And when you look at that film, that little dog went, stayed with uh, those characters, Dorothy and the Scarecrow and the Thin Man and the Lion, stayed with those characters through all kinds of wind, leaves blowing, monkeys, evil monkeys flying in, witches, puffs of smoke. The dog is, is really uh, attached to uh, Judy Garland in the film and stays with and stays in frame. You'll see the dog run out of frame and, and go back in the frame. And you know that dog never went back to the trainer. It may have just uh, gone a little wide, but it's come back in and it stays right with those, those characters. It's just wonderful. Movies presents Marquee or Rinty in the long run. But one pooch who did rival those two dog stars was Asta. As the pet of society sleuth Nick Charles and his wealthy wife Nora, Fox Terrier Asta accompanied his master as he investigated baffling murder mysteries. The characters were first introduced to movie audiences in the 1934 film The Thin Man, based on the book by Dashiell Hammett. William Powell and Myrna Loy, soon to become one of Hollywood's greatest screen teams, portrayed the Charleses as happy-go-lucky and always slightly tipsy lovers. The picture was a surprise hit and quickly became a series, lasting until 1947. After The Thin Man was the aptly titled first sequel, which featured among its cast a young newcomer named James Stewart. Another Thin Man and Shadow of the Thin Man followed. But as the series progressed, an interesting phenomenon occurred. That's the woman who still had a mystery that the man after living in a place like this for three days, I don't know. Darling, you don't need mystery. You've got something like that. Something more enduring. What? Me. You. <laughs> the thin man originally referred to the murder victim, eventually hooking up with a nice lady dog. Boy, oh boy, wait till I tell the family I met Nick Charles and Mrs. Charles. This is Mrs. Charles, isn't it? Dogs in the movies. Don't worry, dog. They all get you out. Oh, sure, sure. Look, you got me out. Later, he was even parodied by a dog dubbed Myron during the spoofing antics of Murder by Death. When you walk Myron the other way, my leg and my trigger. As for Rin Tin Tin and Lassie, they were very different dogs, but they both had one thing in common. They were survivors. Just when it looked as though both Rinty's and Lassie's film careers were drawing to a close, television came to the rescue. The 1950s, with its post-war prosperity, saw lots of newly boomed babies coming of age with television. And to appeal to these kiddies, there were lots of dogs on TV. <laughs> Thank you. 
thinking each other. Yes, yes, I uh, don't get down this way very often. Oh, uh, this is my son, Edgar. I believe you two boys know this. Bullet on the Roy Rogers Show, Neil the St. Bernard on Topper, and Asta of the Thin Man TV series all lent solid support, but only Rin Tin Tin and Lassie had their own shows. MGM had long stopped making Lassie pictures. And the last picture they made at MGM, the old dog died. And uh, it had uh, uh, cancer. And the stand-in had to become Lassie. And by that time, it, it was old. It was 10 years old. Convinced that the Lassie phenomenon had run its course, MGM sold name, image, and character of Lassie to the Weatherwax clan so they could produce a TV series. When they quit making the Lassie picture, Weatherwax, they offered him what they owed him. Uh, instead of paying him, they gave him the name Lassie. The studio never expected Lassie to become one of the longest-running shows in history. For three years, he couldn't use the dog. At the end of three years, they're ready to make Lassie pictures. Debuting on CBS in 1954, the Lassie series ran for 19 seasons, won two Emmys, and became a successful merchandising franchise. <laughs> Rusty and his dog Rin Tin Tin were the only...